Hi all. So today's video is all about uh, streaming data from PopShop to BigQuery. So we have done a couple of uh, use cases in which we have migrated data from cloud storage to the BigQuery from different source and destination we have. So what are the tools uh, it needed uh, for this POC? We will use cloud storage. Second is the PopShop. The third is your uh, BigQuery and the fourth is what data flow. Okay. So the flow is very simple. First, we will create a one cloud storage. Inside the cloud storage, we will create a one directory with the name of temp, a uh, user defined. The second step is you have to go and create a one data set inside the BigQuery. Inside the BigQuery uh, data set, you have to create a one other table. Third is what you have to go to the PopShop and create a topic and subscription. And finally, we'll go to the data flow and we'll create a template and we'll fill all the factors which required to stream the data from PopShop to BigQuery. So let's see, step one is what? Uh, I have already opened the tab, uh, the cloud storage. Okay, so first I will create a create bucket. My PopShop bucket name, let's make it single reason US. This remain thing will same. And then I will create a bucket. One this create a bucket. Inside the bucket, you create a one folder. I'll just give that temp directory. So next is what uh, you just uh, open the BigQuery, uh, open a new tab. I have already opened in a new tab. So I will create a one data set inside this. Um, pop sub BigQuery and uh, let's create this data set now inside this data set uh, I have to create a one table mm, okay so I'll go and create a one empty table I'll just give it uh, pop shop table name okay pop sub table okay and uh, I will define the schema a normal data hello okay let's make it a uh, string and uh, let's create a table so now uh, the bucket is ready okay your uh, big query so this is the table the big query is uh, the table where i need the data to transfer or i can store the data inside this table now uh, coming to the pop shop and uh, in this pop shop i will create a topic um pop shop created if you want to add a default subscription you can add it if you want to create your own subscription that also you can do it so i don't want to make a default subscription that is optional for you and then uh, i will create the subscription for the same so i will create a subscription um, test subscription so user define I will couple with this topic ID which is already created and uh, simply create a subscription okay so that's done so finally you have to come to your data flow here you have to select uh, the template let me create the template and uh, getting inside the job you have to create the template I'll give the template name streaming streaming location same and now you have to select the template so the template uh, there are multiple templates we have so uh, let me go to pop shop to BigQuery you see that you have Avro the, if you have a file format Avro Proto then you can select uh, currently um, I'm using uh, pop shop subscription to BigQuery so this template I will use it for this uh, job and uh, let me select you can select the, the data flow you can see how this flow it works and now you have to fill details now uh, you have to put the table name BigQuery table where you want to store the data in the table so it will reflect already have created the table in BigQuery I have selected a table name 
okay then you have to add the subscription name now you see that uh, test one subscription name I which is uh, my topic ID is already coupled with this and uh, right uh, data flow prime okay and now if you GS so if any logs directory uh, or data you know the logs data if you want to store so you have to pass this uh, bucket uh, uh, path with this directory so let me you see that it will reflect temp directory and I have selected all right and uh, let's enable this data flow print the rest are optional I, i'll just skip this it's not needed so these are the four factors that you have to add it let me re repeat this so the first thing you have to select the the template okay uh, pop shop subscription to bigquery that i'm using and to that you have to pass the bigquery table where you want to store the data then you have to add the subscription name and uh, streaming mode exactly one okay and then you have to pass the directory bucket where the logs file will store and now we are good to start the job okay so let's execute this job will take time because uh, usually data flow depends upon the resource allocation and uh, you know that the template you have selected based on that it will take time so you have seen that it job have started once the resource allocated the current worker you can see it's not the worker is not allocated yet because it will you see that there's no resource has been allocated so we'll wait for some time for this so here we can see that uh, the job uh, started now what we have to do simple okay we'll go to the pop shop okay i guess uh, still the worker has not been assigned so what we will do let's see the, the the progress right the flow it's already started so what you have to do you have to pass the input so from where you will pass this input you have to simply go to pop shop and uh, let's get into the topic and publish them uh, messages so let me publish a messages we'll pass the data you see that uh, this option publish uh, message and uh, how many times you want to pass this uh, uh, number uh, the, this message you want to pass so let me let me pass 11 times and the time frame you want to make it uh, i just uh, put the same one and what message you want to pass so okay so remember that uh, i have passed uh, the schema right hello and uh, what message uh, you want to print so hey it's working fine okay all right so this message uh, i will pass through the pop shop and this uh, data will get stored in your big query table and how many times it will it will it will put 11 times with this time frame interval okay so let me publish this and uh, started publish you see that the pending you see that nine eight start success okay okay it's all done now let me if you want to print here um yes i can see here as well if you right if you want to pull see that yep so here the result is also coming now let let me go to the streaming and uh, hope this job is running it is if you want to just check it you see that it is running okay okay now we'll go simply so this streaming started and uh, to cross check i will go to my big query table and we'll see that there is any data is there okay still let me refresh it's better i will open in a new tab and i will write the job okay so select star from table okay mm, no data 
because the streaming it's it's taking time okay now the worker has been allocated hope it should work now it's working fine okay now let's hope this time it should work Mm, uh, we need to wait for some time let's see anyway I'll check the job information zero second result um, let's wait for some time so finally you can see here it takes some time here we have hey it's working fine it printed uh, 11 times and it keeps streaming guys okay it keeps streaming uh, until you not stop it keeps streaming you know that the job has completed but it's a streaming so it won't stop as usual we have seen once the job done it's show completed but here this process will keep working so what you have to do you have to stop this yeah. okay so here you can see that this is the pop shell the pending all all zero success event is 11 there's no error and I can see it uh, from here also it's printing and same if I see an uh, result, the table size, um, the result wise, if it is going again and running, it's showing you the same result. It's working fine. This is pure streaming using PopShop stream on BigQuery. So this is how it works and it's quite interesting to see that uh, how the streaming it happened so easy using the data flow template. The very important thing is that when you're running the template it will take some time so you have to wait. Uh, it's a streaming it takes lots of resource the backend till that the worker is not allocated you have to wait and once the worker allocated you have to go and refresh uh, your big query and keep running the job. Thank you. So see you in the next video. Uh, we'll come with some more new topic. Wish you very happy learning. Hey, don't forget to download our app for access to free courses and interactive quizzes. Stay connected with us on social media for updates and free content. See you next time. Happy learning.